Hello viewers, today we will talk about Kubernetes and OpenShift. We will see what is the difference between Kubernetes and OpenShift and when to use what. So this is going to be an introductory video for difference between OpenShift and Kubernetes. So let's get started. So what is Kubernetes? So as we know Kubernetes is an open source container as a service framework uh, which is developed by Google in previous decades currently maintained by Cloud Native Computing Foundation since Google donated it at 2014 that is when a Kubernetes is at 1.0 uh, at its crux Kubernetes is a portable open source containerization system that let developer manage service and workloads Kubernetes is a com complete containerization orchestration tool which provides the ability to run dynamically scaling containerized application and utilizing an API for management. What is Open Source? OpenShift. OpenShift is a multi-faceted uh, container application platform uh, from Red Hat. So Open OpenShift is a cloud development platform as a service that enables the developer to develop and deploy their applications on cloud infrastructure. It is truly conductive in developing cloud-enabled service. The OpenShift Enterprise 3.2 is, as the name says, is an enterprise version and OKD4 is open source. As with the most Red Hat products, the upstream version is essentially a free version with no support from SLA. Uh, with no support or SLA, OKD is a distribution of Kubernetes optimized for continuous application development and multi-tenant deployment. So let's see some of the differences between OpenShift and Kubernetes. So first is the product uh, versus project. So OpenShift is a product from IB. <laughs> OpenShift is a product from uh, Red Hat running on top of Kubernetes with other CI/CD integration like Jenkins and Ansible. Uh, now Red Hat is acquired by the IBM. So it is a product of IBM now. Now Kubernetes is an open source or container orchestration tool. So it is a uh, open source or container orchestration tool. Uh, flexibility. OpenShift has some limit in terms of flexibility. Uh, whereas Kubernetes offers better flexibility with operating system. In terms of security, uh, OpenShift is very strict, needs certain level of permissions to maintain minimum security level. Whereas in, in terms of Kubernetes, it is easy to maintain security level. For deployment and approach, OpenShift uh, has a uh, deployment config and with Kubernetes, it has deployment objects. Now, router, router versus ingress. So in case of OpenShift, router objects allow external access to the OpenShift. Whereas in case of Kubernetes, uh, ingress objects allow external access to the Kubernetes services uh, which is mature than route. So what is Red Hat OpenShift? Red Hat OpenShift is an open source enterprise grid platform for container application de development, deployment and management based on the Kubernetes. So it comes both as a commercial product and a free platform. Ultimately, it is a commercial software suite uh, intended as a, which is included as a feature in many enterprise cloud service packages. It is developed by Red Hat. OpenShift is written in Go and AngularJS. It supports Java, Go, Node.js, Python, PHP, and Ruby, but it can be extended to support other programming languages as well. OpenShift integrates easily with other DevOps tools, and it is open container uh, initiative OCI, compliant of container hosting and runtime. It can use Docker containers, and as it is Kubernetes-based, will feel familiar to developers coming from those platforms. So if you look to the details of Kubernetes, Kubernetes is a free open source container orchestration platform currently maintained by the Cloud Native Computing for and CF and the leading containerization tool in the industry. Cloud providers like Amazon, AWS, Google Cloud Platform, IBM Cloud and Microsoft Azure includes Kubernetes in their packages. It is written in Go language. Kubernetes is a container management tool specialized in deploying automating and scaling applications. It has a fast development life cycle with new version coming out every couple of months being appreciated by developers for prompting innovation thanks to the strong community and many group invest in the evolution of Kubernetes. K8S is the, K8S is the short name for Kubernetes. So which is better, uh, OpenShift or Kubernetes? So like so many other technologies, which is better for some company and it's not better for this. Both platforms are excellent for building, deploying, and managing containerized application. Kubernetes is great for initiative, uh, for intensive use apps that require regular updates like games. Uh, OpenShift may be the right uh, option for security strict uh, application. GDPR compliant, heavy duty apps uh, like those of uh, institutional or governmental character or healthcare. Self-hosted Kubernetes is a more complex to install, manage, and monitor without third-party integration. OpenShift seems to be an easier option to manage with its uh, many built-in features, but it is limited to Red Hat Linux distribution. At the code, OpenShift is built on Kubernetes layer, uh, but bring additional feature that makes it different from that makes it a different flavor for container orchestration. 
if we'll compare based on the deployment uh, so kubernetes is flexible when it comes to the running on different operating system however rpm is preferred package manager which is a linux distribution it is preferred that kubernetes uh, can be run on ubuntu fedora and debian this setup allows it to run major uh, last platform like uh, AWS, GCP, and Azure. OpenShift, on the other hand, can be installed on Red Hat Enterprise Linux or RHEL, as well as the Red Hat Enterprise Linux Atomic host. Thus, it can also run on CentOS and Fedora. If we compare uh, OpenShift and Kubernetes based on integrated CI/CD, so the integrated Jenkins on the OpenShift did make the deployment of apps easy. It offers support for sources to image, helping the users to create custom-made Jenkins image that allows the easy updates the integrated jenkin also makes management upgrades and testing easy synchronization becomes easy though this integration through this integration in this aspect of openshift versus kubernetes openshift uh, with its additional feature makes the deployment of apps easy with the cicd pipelines so if we'll compare both uh, in terms of security so openshift has a strict, uh, stricter security policies for instance it is forbidden to run a container as a root it also offers a secure by default option to enable uh, to enhance security Kubernetes does not come with built-in authentication or authorization capabilities, so developers must create bearer token and other authentication procedure manually. If we we'll compare OpenShift and Kubernetes uh, for net networking, so Kubernetes does not include a native networking solution and only offers an interface that can be used by network plugins made by third parties. OpenShift includes a native uh, networking solutions called OpenSwitch, uh, which provides three different plugins. So what are the key cloud uh, platform availability for OpenShift and Kubernetes? Uh, Kubernetes is available on EKS for Amazon, AWS, EKS for Microsoft Azure, and GKE for Google uh, Cloud Platform. OpenShift has public uh, product known as OpenShift Online, OpenShift Dedicated, as well as OpenShift on Azure. For licensing and support, uh, Kubernetes is the open source solution with the license to modify according to your requirements, distribute uh, the content and use it as you like. You can uh, even contribute to their solution in their GitHub repo. For the support, Kubernetes offers community-based support. Depends on your use case, community support could be better in many ca uh, cases, whereas OpenShift provides you with the premium support where you can get exclusive help in question that needs to be answered. OpenShift comes up with a subscription whose cost will increase with the increase in the complexity of your infrastructure so it will so it totally depends upon your budget and scenarios which solutions to use and if we'll compare based on product versus project so while searching for OpenShift versus Kubernetes one of the major difference is that one is a product and another is a project while OpenShift is a popular product Kubernetes is a framework or an open source project OpenShift allows the user to install the product that offers paid support with a subscription. The subscription is inclusive of cloud forms, which uh, further helps in enhancing the feature of the product. The user needs to renew the subscription of their cluster and the amount increases with the expansion of the cluster. An OpenShift tutorial can uh, take you into the depth of the OpenShift concepts. So which is more flexible, op OpenShift or Kubernetes? The running environment of Kubernetes and OpenShift differs. User can find better flexibility of the operating system with the Kubernetes, but the installation of OpenShift has its limit. Red Hat Enterprise Linux, Atomic Host, RHEL, and Red Hat Enterprise Linux. The installation of OpenShift is also possible on CentOS as well as Fedora. Kubernetes does not demand any specific requirement in terms of the operating system. Though deployment, deploying on the Kubernetes requires some special skills and efforts, it is made possible with the latest cloud computing. So, as we have seen the differences product uh, uh, for the features in terms of product versus projects. So, OpenShift is a product, whereas Kubernetes is an open source uh, project framework. Uh, in terms of flexibility, OpenShift has some limits in terms of flexibility, uh, whereas uh, Kubernetes offers better flexibility with the operating system. In terms of security, uh, OpenShift is very strict, need a certain level of permissions to maintain minimum security level. In terms of Kubernetes for security, it is easy to maintain security level. For deployment approach, uh, OpenShift uh, has deployment config and Kubernetes, it has deployment objects. And now, uh, router versus ingress. So, uh, router objects allowed external access to the OpenShift, whereas ingress object allows external access to the Kubernetes services, mature, uh, which is more mature than router. In terms of management, uh, OpenShift uh, is better in terms of management, uh, whereas uh, for Kubernetes, management of container images is not easy to, in uh, Kubernetes. For user experience, OpenShift provides better support to the users. Uh, but uh, in terms of uh, user experience for Kubernetes, Kubernetes requires additional tool for good user experience. 
So in summary, we can say since given it from the basis of OpenShift, one can find uh, its common aspect within the two. In in OpenShift uh, versus Kubernetes, the above mentioned are some of the significant differences available. While the Kubernetes remain a container platform, OpenShift comes into being and uh, keep up a tab on the need of different enterprise. Though addition to the Kubernetes, the existing infrastructure can evolve to the next phase, but it requires much effort and skills. This makes OpenShift a better choice because of its built-in feature. The the manageable ro uh, rollout, logging, and monitoring uh, options keep OpenShift a step ahead of Kubernetes. The networking solution as well as the integrating and installing process also account for OpenShift uh, to be more demanding. Although both are quite similar, uh, the out-of-the-box feature of OpenShift makes a big difference uh, between OpenShift and Kubernetes. So thank you so much for watching today's video. And if you think the videos are helpful, do like the video and subscribe to the channel.